Hey guys, if you explore around say shield area or cratons or moebels, you will come across rocks with structures like this, right? So actually what are this, how they form and what are the importance of this structure? So this video is all about that and this is called the tectonites and we are in our regular class lecture that subject is structural geology. Welcome to my channel Success Guru and myself Panchanadam and let's get into the heading. So what is a tectonite? The rocks that are pervaded by foliation and alineation are known as tectonites. So if you found a rock with so much of uh, oriented minerals in terms of say line-like structure or sheet-like structure. If you have a line-like structure it is called as alineation. If you have say length and width that is two dimensional structures you found it like orientation of mineral you will call it as a foliation. So such a type of rock is simply called as tectonites. You can see it. This is an image of a tectonite which we found in the Nidical region of Tamil Nadu. Okay. So the tectonites are rocks that have flowed in solid state in such a way that few parts of the rock body escape the distortional influence of the flow at least when observed at the scale of a single hand specimen and or the outrock. Okay. So we can call it like a tectonite is a rock which has been flown in a solid state, not in a liquid state, right? Not like a magma or water. So it is a movement of a rock into in a solid state, so just like a glacier or even if you consider plate movement. So such a type of movement of a rock without any sort of distortion in it. At least if you see it, there should not be any sort of distortion if you uh, observe it in a say hand specimen or in outcrop. Sometimes it may show some sort of distortions if you observe under a microscope, but that is uh, not a big deal, but you can neglect it. But a tectonite by definition should not show any sort of distortion when you observe it in terms of a, a say megascopic scale. You can call it like, like that, right? Okay. So tectonites have a well developed penetrative and strongly aligned foliation and or lineation. So as I mentioned earlier, these are the alignment of the minerals that is present in a rock in terms of a line-like structure or a sheet-like structure. This tectonite is an expression of a state of strain of that particular rock. So if you saw a rock with uh, say foliation or lineation, you can simply say that this rock has been strained due to the stress that has been applied on that, right? So this is an expression of a strain, okay? So this is what a tectonite is. So let us see how it is classified. Yeah. Several classes of tectonites can be distinguished on the basis of whether the tectonite contains foliation, lineation or both. Okay. So the classification of tectonites is based on the presence of foliation or lineation or both. You could expect a tectonite with foliation, right? We call it as a S tectonite. If you found a rock with lineations only, we will call it as a L tectonite. And if you found a rock with both foliation as well as lineation, you can simply call it as an L S tectonite. So these are the three classifications. Once again, I will repeat it. If you found a rock with mineral lineation, say let it keep it that way. So that will be called as a L tectonite. And if you found a rock with foliation, you will call it as simply S tectonite. There are some rocks, actually most of the rocks are just like that. That is, it contains both foliation as well as lineation. We will simply call it as an ELS tectonite. Is that clear? Okay, we will show you the figures for that. So this is an S tectonite, which is a foliation tectonite, right? That is the tectonite contains foliations. So what is actually foliation? As I mentioned, it is a planar structure. That is, it has both length and breadth, or I had mentioned it as a two dimension, right? So we can see here, this is the length that is the orientation of the longer axis say length you can consider it and this is the orientation in terms of breadth so minerals are aligned in both the direction that will form a plane which is called as a s tectonite whereas in this case you can see here minerals are aligned in a straight line whether you see observe it in any direction you can see only the trend is towards a single direction that is a line like structure and hence it is called as a L tectonite. When you are discussing about the LS tectonite, it shows both. That is you can see a foliation plane also along with the grains you can see there are line like structure which are the lineation present in this row. And generally lineation in a LS tectonite lies in a plane of the foliation itself. Okay, so this is the plane of foliation. 
and just parallel to the foliation plane you can see lineation in this rocks okay so these are the classifications of tectonics and actually we had made special video of foliation classification of foliation as well as lineation in your previous video itself i will try to share the link in the description if you want you can cross check that video also for a detailed classification of these two types okay so let us see why it is important to study a tectonite actually this tectonite is a strain significant rock as you know a rock is termed as tectonite when it does uh, flow in a solid state right so if a rock flows in solid state which simply indicates that this rock has been deformed right the presence of foliation or lineation in rock is a signal that the rock has undergone significant distortion with or without dilation okay so when you observe a rock with uh, presence of foliation or lineation which indicates after the formation of rock it has been deformed due to some external stress it could be uh, say tectonic stress or any other stress just like uh, magmatic intrusion or anything else right so this uh, tectonic indicates there is a external stress and if you found a rock without any sort of lineation and foliation you could say that region at least after the formation of rock might have not disturbed by any sort of external stress right so this is itself a main indicator of the stress uh, acting on that region at least after the formation of that particular rock right and that is the main goal of a detailed structure analysis is to interpret the strain significance of a tectonite right so in the classification of tectonite say if you discuss about the types of lineation we are classified it into 13 types i have made a video that right so there you can find the stages of the formation of lineation that is the initial stage what happens if the stress increases what will happen next just like that we are classified that also right so that is the prime goal of a detailed structural analysis that is to interpret the strain significance of that particular tectonite right and that is to try to interpret the magnitude as well as the direction of the distortion and or the dilation that are accommodated by the development of foliation and lineation so if you found a tectonite as a structural geologist if you want to do a detailed analysis you have to interpret the type and from that interpretation you can find the direction as well as the magnitude of the stress that acts on the rock to produce such a kind of uh, lineation or foliation okay is that clear so if you have any doubt mention in the comment section we will make a detailed video or try to clear it right and i group my videos according to the category that you can check in my playlist you can connect with us by mail facebook and instagram and these are the links you can support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day